Learn to create an action game in Unreal Engine 5 at unfgames.com. So if you want to make voices for your game characters and you don't really want to hire an actor, maybe Replica Studios have the solution for you. So what is Replica? It's basically a software that you can generate uh, voices using AI. So let's take a look at it to see uh, if you can really use it or not. So the first thing is when I open Replica Studios, you will find here I have the projects tab. So if I click here, you will see that it comes with a demo project. On top, you will see how many hours or minutes or seconds you have for, um, for your current user. In my case, I have like four hours. So let's create a new project, okay? This one will call my, I don't know, my practical game. An awesome, awesome game in development. There you go. So, new project. So I have my game, or and now what I can do is to create characters. So what can I do with this? Basically, if you have different characters in your game, you can create uh, like presets of character. For example, this is my the hero and has the plot armor. Okay, so let's cast now. Let's see which actors will fit our hero. So for example, uh, by default, it will show a lot. Some of them are in beta, some of them are not. So let's choose a male character. Okay, and the voice age may be a young adult, something like that. And the accent, uh, you, you you can have like different type of accents, but let's see what you can do with this. So let's take a look at this one. You have no power here. No power here. We will paint this battlefield in your blood and will go down in history. Okay, let's check this one. Greetings, traveler. You look like you could use a drink. Might I interest you in a mock of ale? Okay, this doesn't look like the hero, so let's try another one. I guess those defense protocols could use some revision. I did my best, but I can only follow. Okay, let's find a last one. Hello, my name is Gabriel, and I can be your new Ripica voice. I have a deep French or European accent. Tomorrow, at dawn, at the hour when the countryside... Okay, so let's just choose this guy. Um, so we can... We can cast. Okay, and the hero will be played by Gabriel. And I can add another character, for example, the traitor always loses. Cats now. So let's see what happens. There you go. You got the traitor there. Now, uh, I don't know, let's put a female voice here. Okay. And um, maybe this one. Look! I already told you. Okay, let's cast. So you have your hero and your traitor, basically two different characters. Let's create a scene for those. So I can create a new scene here and I can call it my level one thing. Maybe it's like a cat scene I have in, in my first level. So let's see what can happen. Well, first I can select a character. So I can create, uh, I can select the hero. Uh, I can say like, look, um, there are some obstacles there. Okay. And I can hit play to generate. Let's wait a little look, bit. There are some obstacles there. Okay. Our hero is very plain and actually only has, uh, it doesn't have any style. So let's take a look at what can happen in another line. Another line. So let's create our character. And the traitor actually have different styles. This one has like angry, happy, and scared. So if it's happy, uh, you can put like, let's go. We need to find out what is behind this door okay 
So let's take a look. It will generate. Let's go. We need to find out what is behind this door. Okay, you can actually change this to angry. So let's play. Let's go. We need to find out what is behind this door. Okay, so you get the idea. Uh, you can put any kind of text here. And here, basically, every time you generate new text, uh, you will consume uh, your seconds here. And they give you quite a lot of minutes and hours for the basic plans. So I think it's a pretty good deal. So what you can do with this? Well, you can actually import this into Unreal. Uh, for example, we can click here and then download the WAV file. And we can put it like replica audio trace level one. And once we do that, we already export the audio. Look that it doesn't really consume my minutes. It only consumes my seconds or minutes uh, when I generate the text here. So let's go to our project here. And what we can do is actually import our audio here. So let's go here to the desktop and let's see where is the, there you go. And once I import it, I have my play here. Let's go. We need to find out what is behind this door. <laughs> now, pretty, pretty funny, actually. Um, now, Replica, it's a project that it's on development. And they have new characters coming uh, quite, quite often. The last time I tried was several months ago. And they, they add a lot of new characters. And you can see that uh, some of them are more developed than others. For example, like Descartes. Let's see what Descartes has to offer. Overrun! Fall back to the woods! The druids have our backs. Do you really think you are safe? I will find you. And when I do, I will rip and tear you limb from limb. Okay, like this one is really nice. And as you can see, like, you, you can have the, the profile here. Uh, you know, it's a middle age, has a British accent, um, has four styles like fury, lighthearted, battle, and serious. And it's like, if you want to cast this, uh, you can have another uh, character here. So what you can do here is actually, if you don't like your hero, uh, you can use another character, and you can generate your audio here. Look, there are some obstacles there. And what you can do is, like, put, like, battle, maybe, to see how it sounds like. Look, there are some obstacles there. Oh, that's pretty nice. So let's download the wave. And let's call this tree. I don't know. And then we can just import it into Unreal by right click, import. And there you go. That's our audio. Look, there are some obstacles there. And just like that, you can have like different audios for your characters pretty easy without having to hire any voice actors. Of course, uh, there are some limitations, but I believe this can be really useful when you are prototyping a game. Uh, you can have your audio to uh, know how long the cutscene will take. And later on, you can polish it with uh, some professional actors, maybe. Or if this is good enough for your game, then go ahead and use it. So I hope this tutorial has been useful to you. Replica, it's uh, quite a handy tool. Uh, and it will help you to create your games faster.